So we've just woo woo wound from our battle with Leonard and has gotten his talisman, but we're back in Brookhaven Hospital. It's kind of just jump, dumped us back out. Not sure we're sure where we need to go now, but we've gotten the talisman, like I said, so we'll see. Well, I'm kind of assuming that we just leave. Eerily quiet. I think that's what we checked the map for to see if there's anywhere new to go. Why did you send her to my father? Was that wrong? It's your fault that he... Oh, but surely it's a good thing. Uh, it means he was one of God's beloved, no? Those who mock God will never receive salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. And you think God is going to save you? Ha! Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasures of this world. And I want to find my happiness while I'm still here. You hated your father, didn't you? I saw the way he hit you. And kicked you. And made you cry. The memory of his cruelty is forever burned into my mind. Yes, yes, and that's why we need God. What you call faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. None of you do. I always love Claudia's voice acting. She really does sound rapturous. Mm. Yeah, so we had an interesting little interlude there between Claudia and Vincent, which looked like it was maybe in some kind of motel, hotel, there were beds, not sure. But yes, they seem to know each other and sort of get along, but they certainly don't agree with each other. I'm not sure they get along either. Well, they're not murdering each other like Leonard wanted with Claudia and vice versa. Oh, in which case I'll get along with anyone. <laughs> but I suppose it served to add a bit more depth to Claudia at least. Shunned. The monsters, I meant. I was going to say as well, we did mention that we were going to check on Douglas in our last cutscene. Which is, I'm assuming, why we're heading back to the motel. The lighting that's different gives it a different atmosphere as well. Very much so, yes. As it slowly turns to night. <laughs> and here we are. I think we just need to go back to uh, the room we're staying in. Having trouble with that transition. Of course, we are using the uh, 2D control system. Actually, 2D and 3D aren't very useful uh, names for them. I think no, directional I rotational is much better. We're using the directional one.
Where's Douglas? He went out. But he left a message for you. Was there someone else here just now? No, no, just me. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah, what did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. Church? I wonder what he meant by that. You don't understand? <laughs> That's where Claudia is. Across the lake. On the north side. If you're going, you better go through the amusement park. It's probably the only way in now. Go northwest on Nathan Avenue. It's a bit far, but mm, closer than heaven. Is that it for the message? Uh-huh. Thanks. Douglas really said that? What's wrong? You don't trust me? No, no, we don't trust you. Yes, so, um... Vincent is still in a hotel room, so it was our hotel, our motel room that they were in before talking. Do we assume, then, that it wasn't really Douglas, but it's Claudia that was saying, go over to the church? Which I think is the idea, it's a little bit of the old uh, dramatic irony, because we know and she doesn't, so you suspect your guesses. Well, I think it's more that Vincent and Claudia are at um, odds with each other, and he sent you to Claudia. Hmm. So but, uh, I think it's more Vincent's machinations rather than Claudia's at this There's definitely machinations, point. though, yeah. There are definite machinations. Machinations all over the place, yeah. As you mentioned, we are going back to the amusement park. We have to go through it. So that should be fun. <laughs> yeah. Do you see what I did there? It was amusing. Thank you. Indeed, night falls. And here we are back at the beginning of the game. That's what I quite like because it's very uh, circular. I think it's more cyclical. You know what I mean. <laughs> it's dark, it's grimy. Place looks a bit abandoned, and we've got all of these wonderful Robbie dolls. We'll avoid the holes this time. Some familiar looking monsters. There hasn't particularly been any new ones in a little while. Yes, and this is all um, places we explore in the dream sequence at the beginning if you uh, get this far. In fact, there's a sort of a hint in the game a place where you might die otherwise. It's a place you can't not die in the intro, but you can survive it in uh, the real version. 
the souvenir stall. Got an ampoule. It's useful. Well, it always strikes me in Silent Hills as one of those health items you always accrue and then never use because you save them. Mm. <laughs> They're very powerful as well because they heal you for a while after you've already taken it as well. It kind of tops up. She does have her eye on something. Is it on the table? Well, there's an eye on a couple of things. There's some beef jerky there. There's a save point where we just the boxes fell over. But no flavour text. I think we're done with the flavour text for now. And we're done with this episode as well. Catch you next time. <laughs>